Happy February! Welcome to Real Feels with Eric Kahila. Today we're going to be getting to the heart, to the center, and to the real one of you. Well, to me, but you know, I guess we're all kind of one if you want to feel existential for this one. Today on Real Feels, I just want to get in touch with my inner Eric. It's been really interesting this past month, and now that we're in a new February, because it's a new year, so it's a new February, it's not like the same February because you didn't really have a February before this one. I mean, you did, but last year. You know what I'm saying? You pick it up my drip, you pick it up with the thumbs down, but I'm not throwing it down, so don't pick it up. I would hand it to you, really. Anyway, it's February and I am just really happy because it's February and it's my birthday month. My birthday is around the corner, but by the time you're watching this, my birthday already happened. So I'm sure you'll hear about my birthday in like one of the following posts. These are the moments that I live for. I don't know if you live for it, but I live for it. I'm very like, I'm multifaceted. I have many layers, okay, among the extra like underneath that layer of the layer within the layer you need to know that there's more layers you know i just want you to know like more than an onion okay like don't even go there okay and like onions make you cry and like when you think of an onion don't you want to cry like and i don't mean like a funyun ugh, you know or like a fried onion or like an onion blossom I mean like an onion, do you know? Like, do you think about like an onion? Like, doesn't it make you want to know? It kind of feels like it stings a little. I've been getting over a lot of things, you know, come to terms with what I'm going through and I feel like I've been holding back so much. That's what it is I've been holding back. I'm just trying not to like fall apart. I need some lip gloss, hold on. Because if you're gonna cry, you might as well look pretty, okay? We don't believe in ugly crying, okay? Like literally, Kim, Bible. I'm so serious. Oh my gosh, that's my eyeliner. Ugh, I have to put my magic mouth on the market. I have to get back to it. I have to like get back to me and like do the things that I want to do for me, but I haven't. And instead of like focusing on building a brand, I spent my money on makeup, drag con tickets, and other things that really have been only to like embrace my inner divine female but i need to like really come back to who i'm supposed to be and find out actually i don't need to find out i already know who i am i know who i am i know my purpose i know my purpose i don't want to be here alone i just decided to let go i need to just be it's not just an individual. It's like, I feel like it's like a universal like lesson I'm supposed to learn. I learned it, believe me. I learned and I graduated and I'm moving forward. Hello, like uh, my hat in the air learned and it's not like i'm even crying over certain people anymore but like the fact is i've recently been rejected to my face and rejection is redirection and i was really like hesitant to even posting like anything about like how i feel about anything about what i've been feeling because then people are gonna say oh you're too sensitive or but that's all i've been hearing my whole life is you're too sensitive but you know what fuck you if you think i'm too sensitive because you know what i am sensitive you know and it's duh <laughs> really it just took you this long to realize I'm sensitive. <sighs> like serious. Five things you should know about me. Number one, I'm super sensitive to frequencies and noise, just so you know. Number two, I'm very sensitive. Number three, I like my space. Number four, I also love to love, but like I love like beyond. Number five, I don't like being controlled. Yeah, or like told what to do, right? We covered that. One through five. When I'm in a moment of like thought and channel and creative energy and inspiration and thoughts are flowing and I'm feeling like great and amazing and then all of a sudden you hear like a and then you and then you're like oh just kidding almost almost no because it's like right when you're about to like find your peace and your mantra within your chi and you're in the alignment, it's almost like that one moment when like Buffy was training with Giles and Dawn knocks over the crystal and then Buffy falls. You know what I mean? It's like one of those moments. I honestly feel emotionally constipated right now. Honestly, authentically, truthfully, honestly. I feel like I need to share my emotion, but it won't come out. Remember in episode one of Metamorphosizing when the butterfly was coming out of the cocoon? Well, I feel like I came out of the cocoon. Now I'm like trying to spread my wings and like, I feel like I'm dodging the rain. I feel like I'm dodging the rain. <laughs> I feel like a butterfly that's not taking the rain. And that's all that'll come out. Shh. 
two. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> it was built in 15 minutes. <laughs> I just feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. But who's putting you under pressure? Me. I'm putting myself under pressure. <laughs> I'm not ready to grow up. <laughs> but Peter Pan has to grow up someday. And we could still have all the magic. I think I've just been like heartbroken and like been put through so much disappointment. I guess I haven't like purged it. I've been like dodging everything. But I haven't like come to terms with like the emotional repercussions of dismissing my emotional intelligence in that respect, you know? Because I have to be strong for myself, right? I don't have siblings to like say, you know, hey Eric, you know. And I have to be strong for my mom, you know, because she's my mom. You have to be like a good son and you have to take care of, you know, you have to do your responsibility regardless. I think it's just respect to your parents and love. Everything's just been so like in my face. Do you know what I mean? Like doors close, close, close. I know I should be focusing here on all the doors that are going to be opening and everything's going to be like blessing me. I know that, but it doesn't mean that it still doesn't hurt. Like I would text and text and text and send pictures and send messages and send messages. <laughs> like it didn't matter. I would never get anything back. <laughs> like I was never validated back. Like because, because I, I spoke my truth. <laughs> because I was constantly ignored. Like that's why I put myself out there. <laughs> and I'm just like done. I'm just done. I'm done trying to please the world. <laughs> I was thinking the tissue box. There's just like no reason. I shouldn't have to wait for your phone call just because you need like somebody to come over for you to cook dinner for. I shouldn't expect you to call me so you can have me accompany you to pick up some wine because you don't want to drive by yourself. I shouldn't have to wait for you to call me when you came back into town. I shouldn't have to wait for a text back from you to tell me that you, you know, feel the same way about it. I shouldn't have to and neither should you. Take back your power, people. If you're watching this and you're, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're going through the same thing that I'm going through, just know number one, you're not alone. Number two, this is happening to everybody all over the world is waking up within themselves. Number three, it's your brave heart. Be brave, love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself. Stop chasing people who don't want you. Stop chasing people who don't validate you. You know, stop trying to be part of a group that doesn't want you. And I thank them, I thank them because I don't want to be a part of people who don't want to be a part of me, a hundred percent. But that doesn't take away from the sting. Like that's just inhumane. You don't treat people like that, okay? You don't invite people to audition for your group and then you like dismiss them by text and say, you know what, the day of the audition, I decided, you know what, we don't want you. But instead of telling you straight up that we don't want you, we're gonna create some bullshit excuse to say that because we don't wanna hurt your feelings and I'd respect you more for being honest. But instead, like, because I'm intuitive and I just have not been tuning into that because I don't want to connect with people that have been hurting me. And sometimes when you're in tune with the world, you pick up everything. And because I've chosen to not connect, I'm not connecting. It's still there, I still feel it. Have I been on a quest for love? Absolutely. True story, something you don't know about me. I have not had a boyfriend that lasted more than like two months, two to three months, really. And then they back away because I'm too much, apparently. I'm not high maintenance, but like, I'm just, I'm like, I think I'm really like intense. How do you not, like, how can you not love with intensity? That means my fire is burning brighter than yours. That means you're not capable of burning as right as me, which means we're incompatible. Move on. But like, hello, really? Like, I, I do not believe I'm like supposed to be like without a partner in my life at all. Like, hello. But I'm learning to embrace the divine female within me and the divine male within. And together I'm realizing that <laughs> this is me right now. I'm, I'm hanging out with my soul right now. You know, I don't need to be hanging out with yours right now because what if yours is dirty? You know what I mean? Let's scrub with those bubbles. See you soon for another episode of Real Feels with Erica Hila. Till next time, keep it real and don't forget to feel. Don't forget to feel. That was cute. That was cute, Eric. <laughs>